Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Shearwater Perdix dive computer. So this comes in two different variants, the regular Perdix and the AI, which is an air integrated version. So these are designed for technical divers. Uh, they give you full range of control over everything from the color screen to uh, your gradient factors, everything on the inside. You can really customize this. Very, very popular dive computer. Let's take a closer look. Okay guys, so first off, let's take a look and see what you actually get in side of the box. Uh, so this one, this is the AI version. Uh, so the AI only differs from the regular version, only that it has air integrations. So that's an optional extra. Um, just means that you can buy a wireless air transmitter, fit it to your regulator, and this will pick up that information. The other one won't. Uh, so looking inside of the box, uh, nice compact little box. Um, it's that uh, sort of semi-rigid but protective case. Nice and small, really compact. Compared to a lot of um, sort of dive computer boxes, they can get sort of really big and cumbersome. They just end up in the loft or in the trash. Uh, whereas this is actually practical. You can reuse this and, uh, and keep your dive computer safe afterwards. So inside, in the top, you have a zippered section. Uh, inside here, we have a, uh, a quality checklist. So uh, someone's physically gone through, just made sure that everything's working on the dive computer. So that's very nice to know. Uh, also in the top, you have a, a little section. This has got a, a little tool for uh, replacing the battery because this is a user changeable battery. It only uses a single AA battery. You can get those all over the world. You can change it whenever you want. Uh, very quick and easy just to uh, sort of swap that out and that's a handy tool to, uh, to get it out with. Uh, you've got a couple spare O-rings for that battery compartment. Um, so if they wear out or if you're ever unsure of them, change it out and uh, make sure it's nice and clean. Uh, a little carabiner that can probably go on that little clip, uh, that little D-ring there. Um, and you've got a Bluetooth dongle. So you can uh, sort of download your, uh, your dies via Bluetooth because both of these computers have Bluetooth built into them. Uh, so instead of having uh, like cables and everything, you can just download your dive to your, uh, to your desktop computer wirelessly through, uh, through Bluetooth. You've also got some product information, a little card in there, so just read through that. Uh, nothing else in the top. Then undoing a bit of Velcro, you've got a little protective section. Your dive computer itself, we'll take a closer look at that at a second. You've got two options for, uh, for straps on this dive computer. You have these paired elasticated webbing straps. So these come with uh, really nice buckles and they thread through the dive computer. The elastic just means it's great for dry suit diving and uh, sort of thicker wetsuit diving. Means that it's going to uh, always kind of uh, sort of hold and stick onto your wrist even if it starts to compress. Um, but nice and comfortable if you're just wearing it over bare skin as well. You also have some latex uh, surgical tubing or silicone tubing, I can't tell. Um, very simple. Uh, again, on here, I'll show you in a second, you can mount it directly onto the computer. And, uh, and this is just elasticated, so uh, it's a really quick and easy. Just to slip it on your wrist, and it's going to grip there um, uh, if your, uh, your wetsuit or your dry suit starts to compress. Uh, a pair of stickers. Um, stickers are always handy. And then we have a, a quick start guide. I think this is just on the air integration. Very easy to read, very easy to, uh, to navigate, and it shows you kind of the screens and what everything means. <coughs> so a decent quick start guide. Okay, looking at the computer itself. So the computer, as I said, you've got a user changeable battery. Um, slightly smaller than its, uh, its bigger, older brother, the, uh, the petrol. It has a, uh, a slightly smaller screen, only um, I think it's 0.2 of an inch, so it's a little bit smaller, but much greater battery life depending on the battery that you put inside of it. So this is much more compact and streamlined compared to its big brother, the, um, the petrol, but inside it does most of the same things. <coughs> So here's your battery compartment. Uh, you just unscrew that a few turns and, uh, and change that AA battery. You can see it's nicely contoured so it's gonna fit around your wrist really easily. Uh, on the back or on the underside, <coughs> you've got the, uh, the threaded loops that you can put those elasticated uh, straps through. And then these little holes here, these are for the, that uh, surgical tubing. 
either side of the dive computer we have these piezoelectric uh, buttons. So these don't require any kind of push or mechanical force. Um, so you can use it with gloves. Uh, you can cover this up with like a silicone uh, protective cover. You can still use those batteries. There's no way that uh, water can ingress through them. There's no O-rings or anything. Uh, it's just, um, uh, just in change of electric force uh, in front of them, which actually pushes that button. So here we see the, uh, the screen. So this is a full color screen. Um, very easy to read, color-coded display. So if everything's white and blue, then it's fine. If stuff starts to turn sort of orange and red, then there's something wrong, you need to address it. But you can color code it to your preference. So, um, so this is kind of your dive screen. Um, you can modify this and, uh, and move stuff around. So this is the compass, for example. You can change that bottom section, uh, keep pressing it, and you've got sort of more auxiliary information. So very quick and easy to navigate. Here you can see your tissue bar graph, uh, to see your saturation levels, um, seeing how your battery's doing. And uh, all in all, it's a, a fantastic dive computer. There are really great videos on, uh, on Shearwater's YouTube page that shows you how to change everything and navigate the menus. So I'm not gonna go into too great a depth, but, uh, but this button on this side just allows you to go through the different uh, menus. And then this one just allows you to select. So um, the, the button prompts changes every time uh, that you move around. So it gives you a full, um, very easy to, uh, to, to use user interface. And uh, what's clever about it is that it always changes depending on the, uh, the, sort of the time of the dive and, uh, and what you need at that given moment. That's what Shearwater were really sort of keen to, um, to get over is that the, uh, the Perdix is a powerful dive computer so it anticipates your needs. That way you're not trying to navigate confusing menus whilst you're in the water. First time you push the button, it should be what you need to adjust. So very quick and easy. Um, say we want to change this from, uh, from Imperial to Metric. We're going to hit Edit. It jumps down one. I want to edit depth. I want to put that into meters. So you just change that, change it to meters, save, and that's it done. Um, just kind of cycle through. You can flip the screen as well, so you can invert it, turn it upside down, uh, depending on which uh, sort of way you want it on your wrist. Very customizable dive computer. Um, calibrate the compass, of course. I'm just going to go all the way through, uh, hitting done, and then I'm just going to turn it off. So very quick and easy. The, uh, the Perdix version, uh, the standard version, is exactly the same as the AI. It's just that AI has that additional uh, option that you can have a wireless air transmitter um, paired with. So that's the Shearwater Perdix dive computer. Very, very popular amongst the technical divers. Uh, you've got full range of control over everything that you need to adjust. Available at our website, simplyscuba.com. Thanks for watching and safe diving.